So back in 2012, I was a main participant in a Darren Brown episode that aired on TV. So myself and a few other people included were given a pill that we were told would cure our fears and phobias. And this was a pill that was initially given to soldiers to help them with coping during battle and that myself and the group I was with would be the first civilians to be on this to cure our fears and phobias. And as time went on, as it most certainly did cure a lot of fears and phobias that I had, so like heights, spiders, claustrophobic spaces, you name it, that I'd given a list to them of, um, which is probably why I got picked for the episode. But after three months of being on this pill, we were then told that it was nothing more than a placebo, just sugar icing from a cake inside of a little blue pill. Now, one of the things that I found fascinating with the experience, even just looking back on it now, is the limiting beliefs that I had then, as opposed to how I think about my limiting beliefs and mindsets today. And I wanted to just give you some insight into it. And I think, first of all, just to show you something, some memorabilia that I did find as I was sort of cleaning my uh, my wardrobe out this morning was that I actually found, if I can just mine the microphone, um, I actually found the sort of like medication unit that we were given during the episode which just allowed us to keep track um, and keep momentum going of the routine of taking the placebo just in this sort of like pill unit. So uh, each of these just sort of said morning, noon, evening and night on them. And uh, I've even actually still got a couple of uh, the, uh, the placebo as well, which I wouldn't take them now because they're probably going to be absolutely disgusting. But... The purpose really just or first point that I wanted to talk about is the fact that the placebo was about creating a routine which just helped to reshape the mindset. So when I was on the pill, by having four pills a day, daily for three months, just constantly meant that I was bombarding myself with this new mindset of the pills are working, the pills are going to take away your anxiety or your worries or, or stress and whatnot. And when that was happening, I was just essentially allowing myself to be absorbed into the experience that I wasn't then thinking about the outcomes or the future. I mean, don't get me wrong, there was still certainly some level of uncertainty going on there that would just cause anyone sort of like some level of stress but the pill allowed me to just take control of the symptoms that the anxiety was causing me at the time and to also just rationally think during a very stressful moment instead of allowing my emotions to get the better of me so i'll give you an example um definitely during the time that i was on the placebo i had experienced a number of occasions where some spiders were running around the house. And normally if I were to see a spider, I would scream like a five-year-old girl. They would absolutely petrify me. But by allowing myself just to be present and to not get bothered by external factors that were around me, whenever I saw a spider, I would just sort of recognize it and go, oh, okay, there's a spider there. What do I want to do about it? And if I obviously wanted to get rid of it out of the house, I I'd have no interest in killing them, that I would just kind of leave very calmly, go grab a glass and some paper, come back, put it over the spider, scoop it up and take it out. And for me, that was probably one of the most mind blowing things to go from like, rather than like screaming and calling for like a family member to come and rescue me, I just very calmly handled the situation. So... I didn't let my emotions get the better of me and I didn't let my irrational thinking kick in. I just took a deep breath and I thought to myself, what do I want to do to approach this situation and how best do I want to handle it? And you can apply that same thing yourself, first of all, as well. That whenever you come to some very stressful moment, particularly in dating, so if you see someone 
that you're attracted to, I want you to just rationalize that moment. Play devil's advocate with your thinking process. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. So if you see someone that you're attracted to, but you are nervous and that's normal, that's absolutely okay and normal, rationalize it. Say, what's the worst thing that's going to happen if I were to give her a compliment? And you might then say like, oh, I'm going to embarrass myself. What are people going to say if they see it and stuff? And then play devil's advocate with that thought and rationalize it again and be like, well, are people really going to criticize it? Like everyone's got busy lives. They're going to get on and, and do things. Or maybe they're not paying attention to me. Maybe they're not even noticing. They're probably not even going to hear the interaction that you're having with this woman that you're going to speak to. So the brain kind of overthinks things, especially if it's trying to future predict something. And the fight, flight or freeze response will always kick in to try and protect you. But what I found with, for me, with being on that placebo was that it actually just allowed me to control that rather than just my body reacting, going like, right, quick freeze or quick run away. It was like, hang on a minute. What decision do I want to make in this moment? Nothing scary is happening whilst I'm making a decision. The action has not yet been taken. So what do I want to do? So you can implement that even without a placebo, but most certainly what I would suggest is even finding something that will just allow you to create a daily routine. And on top of that, I'm going to say a much more positive mindset that's going to shift it into this new perspective that you want to create. So for example, if you aren't going out cold approaching, but you want to speak to women, you want to develop your confidence and you want to ultimately maybe get a girlfriend, then you have to put yourself into circumstances quite regularly or somewhat regularly that you can create a routine and train yourself into this new way of thinking. And on top of that, giving yourself permission to fail or get things wrong, but be like, you know what? it's okay. I'm going to learn from this. And in those moments where you are feeling the anxiety or feeling that fear, just challenge it. Is that really how things are going to go? Is that what's going to happen? And believe it or not, these were the kind of things that were playing out for me. I'd say much more subliminally when I was on this placebo. So I'm trying to, if anything, just get you to take a much more proactive approach with trying to uh, e experience the same placebo effect that I had, even though you haven't really got a placebo. But I can assure you it really was the exact same thing that I went through. But most importantly, I think the biggest learning curve that I got from uh, limiting belief wise from before being on the placebo to afterwards and now is that really the only person getting in the way of getting results was me. Now, if I keep avoiding doing things that scare me, then I'm never going to get better at them and I'm never going to overcome them. Unfortunately, to get any level of success, you have to face your fears. You have to desensitize yourself through exposure therapy. And in doing so, you will in time become more comfortable with it. And when you can control your symptoms of anxiety simultaneously with this, then that's how you speed that process up of getting really good results in anything much faster. So do remember that the only person who is stopping you from getting any results in life, whether it be through getting a girlfriend or learning how to develop your social skills or confidence with meeting people, it's only you saying no to yourself. And it's only you who is avoiding these particular circumstances and choosing not to evolve and develop and grow during them. So I invite you, if anything, to really have a think about what was it like for me when I was on this placebo and what can you do to essentially replicate what I experience. 
And quite simply, just by playing devil's advocate with your thoughts and also remembering that the only person who is getting in the way of getting really good results or the things that you want in life is ultimately you. If it's other people, then you need to cut them out of your life. But 100% of the time, it's going to be you who's like, no, I don't want to do this. That scares me. And then you just avoid it completely. And then months go by or years go by. And then it gets to maybe a point that you left it too long or too late. And you're like, damn, I really wish I'd have done this differently back then. And for me, being on that placebo was one of the greatest things I think that ever happened to me. And to now have this mindset of if I'm going out, if I'm going to face my fear of something, I challenge my belief constantly. And then I'll even kind of weigh up like what's the different outcomes of scenarios to play out here And would they all be really bad if I did them? You know, would I be alive afterwards if I did them? And ultimately the answer would be yes. So I invite you to just challenge your beliefs and remember again that you can be your own worst enemy here and you've got to try and be your own best friend instead. And if you can just also create a routine where you can face that particular fear every single day, and breathe through it, relax yourself through it. And it could be even through like meditation, just breathing exercises, or even just actively remembering, this isn't gonna be that bad, you're okay, you're okay. Or get a support system in place, whether it be a coach or someone like for me, where I can also advise you through stuff, which isn't necessary. You can even grab a friend of yours or a wing, whatever, whatever you need support with, even just having someone around you just to take you out of your head and say, look, you're going to do a great job. This is absolutely fine. I'm here with you. I'm supporting you. Then that is how you can have that same placebo effect that I did too. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. If this was something that you found of interest, please do like the video. If you've got ideas for other videos as well, let me know in the comments below and do stay up to date by subscribing to my channel where I genuinely want to help guys with their anxiety in dating so they can have whatever sort of dating life they want. You owe it to yourself. Don't leave it too late until it gets to a point that you just live a life in regret. Do something about it now whilst you've got the chance. And if you can actively create this placebo-like experience, just think of where you will be months or years even down the line by taking action now and doing something. So if you need coaching, by all means, check out my website. Otherwise, I can certainly recommend other people to go and check out and watch or even go to for coaching. But other than that, Don't be your own worst enemy. And if you can challenge your limiting beliefs, you will experience the exact placebo effect that I had through my Darren Brown experience too.